Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Armory. In this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to assemble the newly designed DC-17 pistol. I'm going to go over all the materials you need, how to put them all together, and show off how everything works. So let's get right into it. So as you can see I've already inserted the 10 millimeter diameter by 3 millimeter deep magnets. That's pretty straightforward. They're mostly held in by friction and a little bit of super glue, but I want to focus on the trigger since the moving trigger is going to be the most complicated part about this pistol. Now the trigger works on a pin and spring system. For the pin I'm using a 2mm diameter metal rod, and for the spring I'm using a 5mm wide by 25mm long spring. And the diameter of the spring rod is 0.5mm. Now this rod is going to fit through the hole inside the little trigger mechanism here. This is the axis that the trigger will swing on, but first I'm just going to cut it to length. It should fit in the little cutout channel right above the trigger hole. Now fitting the spring in the trigger and getting it to go inside the holes can be a little bit tricky. So there is also a hole cut out on the top of the trigger for kind of a stabilization rod using that same 2 millimeter diameter. You can insert that rod to kind of help keep the spring upright and prevent it from bending out of the hole. I had to modify the length of my spring because you want it to be just right, but once the pin is in place, the difficult part is going to be lining up the spring with the other hole inside the pistol. Once you have the spring fit inside the hole on the pistol, the next step is to make sure that the pin does not be pushed out by the spring. To do that, we have two little pieces here that look like T's. These fit down inside that channel and keep pressure on that pin, preventing it from rising when you squeeze the trigger. Now these can be held in place by friction, but I'm just going to use a little bit of super glue to make sure that those T pieces don't pop out. So there you go guys, that is how you assemble the trigger system on the new DC-17. I really like this model, it's got a lot of room for electronics on the inside, and so you could really go all out on the build if you want to. These files can be found on my website galacticarmory.net or as part of my Patreon rewards for the months of August and September. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.